Former Attorney General Soli Sarabji, one of India's finest legal minds, died of COVID on uh, Friday morning. He was 91. A senior lawyer, a Padma Vibhushan recipient, Soli Sarabji was being treated at a private hospital in Delhi. Soli Sarabji, one of India's finest legal minds, and so much more. The early promise was evident. As a student at the prestigious government law college in Mumbai, the same college that counts as its alma mater, B. R. Ambedkar. He won a gold medal in Roman law and jurisprudence. As a junior to the iconic Nani Palkiwala, the giant of constitutional law, Soli worked on and was witness to path-breaking judgments, like the case of Ananda Bharti, which sought to protect the basic structure of the constitution. He could come into his own during the emergency as a fierce defender of human rights and media freedoms on the laws governing press freedoms right in the middle of that dark period. Meet NDTV's Ombudsman, Soli Sarabji, former Attorney General of India. In 2013, he agreed to become NDTV's Media Ombudsman as a watchdog of our coverage and respond to public feedback. NDTV has maintained the correct norms of fair and accurate reporting, but one can never be complacent. So many people listen to NDTV. In 1998, he surprised his liberal admirers by agreeing to become Attorney General of India under the Vajpayee government, a decision he defended. as his passion for law was his passion for jazz. Soli was one of the founders of the Jazz Yatra concert series, which saw the best names in Indian and global jazz tour the country. Last year, amid the lockdown, jazz musicians held an online concert in his honor. Things will soon get better. This is for a true jazz and music patron and lover. Mr. Soli Sorabji. Unforgettable, that is what you are. Soli's legal legacy lives on, not in his son's Jahangir, a doctor, and Hormuz, the car expert, but his daughter, Zia Modi, who has emerged as one of India's top corporate lawyers. But it's a legacy that goes beyond family. Everyone from the Prime Minister to the Chief Justice of India took note of his passing. A reminder that India has lost a legal titan to the pandemic. <laughs>